Hi y'all, welcome back. Okay, change of plans. We're doing five equal patties out of this and we've already added some of the barbecue sauce, not all of it, but we also have some jalapenos because jalapenos don't have a lot of carbs. Just some chopped, finely chopped jalapenos. I'm gonna make five patties out of this. Bobby's gonna smoke them on the pit. The six patties should be six meals. And we're putting the patties on the pit. These are five block patties, not three blocks. But, you know, every now and then, a man needs a little bit more protein. This is lunch. It already has the barbecue sauce and some crackers in there to help it hold together. So, lunch, done. Also, I have hamburger buns that, it, that you know, they need to use first. So, instead of the low-carb uh, bread and all the fruit and all that for breakfast, He's gonna have that. One hamburger bun, he can have that. I'm gonna toast a bun. Really easy to do. There's 20 grams of carbs per one bun in this bag. But, uh, 27. But that's okay because we ended up having to add some crackers to the meat so it would stick together. So, um, yeah, he's got carbs. It's covered. I'm gonna toast this bun. You know how to do it, it's easy. I'm going to add one teaspoon of butter to the bun, a little bit of olive oil, and uh, that's his fat. I'll do. I need to make an egg. Add some olive oil in here. And Bobby normally eats his breakfast like on the way to work. Scrambled isn't the best option. Here's what we're going to do. I dropped the first egg on the floor, but it's okay. The dog partook and he's happy. Oops, we don't want that. All right, put that over. There we go. All right, I'm making a mess. Jeez. Hey, crack already. What's up with you? Okay. Get all the shells out. It's not perfect, but it kind of works. Well, it works even better if you know how to crack an egg. But hey, get the shells out and we're cooking. And you're supposed to put a lid on it, but this doesn't have a lid, so I have pizza pan. That'll work. Bobby's first black breakfast. So, we got the bun, and we're doing this in ceramic because, you know, he's gonna eat it in the morning. I waste a container. That's just something I gotta clean. I have this egg that I cooked. That's the bottom. It needs a little bit of just a pan, the salt, a tan of pepper. The bacon he's supposed to get, well, that's a lot of bacon. He might actually not get this piece because I'm going to eat it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, no, oh, there's more bacon. I'm not eating this one here. And then, cheese. Done. Wrap it up. It's already all at room temperature, so. Put in the fridge. Eat more out of there than you know, spray in the day. So we have breakfast, lunch, dinner I'll figure out. I gotta make the snacks. Doing that. While you watch this football. So for his second snack, he gets crackers. He's supposed to have seven grams. This is eight grams. Close enough for me, really. And then one ounce of cheese. I've got to cut this and lay it. But I, I didn't want a dirty of a big cutting board to cut cheese. I right? so hey. there we go. One ounce of cheese. So crackers, cheese, and six almonds. Yum! That's a snack. So 
for his first snack, I'm gonna make some jello with fruit in it. Yum. We're, I gotta figure out how to make jello. The instructions are so small. I don't understand why it's so small. We need a half a cup of fruit. Half a cup is not very much. It really is not. And we're using lime jello. Don't know how that's gonna taste, but he was like, I don't care, so okay, that's what we're doing. I'll let you know how it comes out. First snack. Jello with the fruit. And he's also gonna have to have some almonds for the fat. But this is gonna take forever. So I'm wondering if I put jello in the freezer, yeah. if it'll cook faster, or not cook, but you know, jellify faster, because it's taking forever. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. The lime jello I made for my husband, fruit in it, and it's taking forever, so I'm gonna try to stick it in the freezer. See if it can jellify faster. Find out. If I have a you gotta move this higher off. Will it work or it won't? I don't know. We'll find out. The rest of the patties. A couple go in the freezer, a couple go in the fridge. Each one of these is a meal for Bobby. Like, complete everything. He doesn't need anything else. It's got carbs, protein, fat, everything. So. Bag these up and to answer my question, no, putting it in the freezer did not work. I don't know what happened. Bobby didn't get a first snack. He can have some almonds, I guess. I don't know. I'm just like, ugh. I don't know what I did. I called up my sister-in-law and I said, hey, how did I mess up Jello? She told me what to do. She told me could have been the package, could have been the gelatin in the package. Could have been because I should have put it in the refrigerator for two hours uncovered before I added the fruit. So I'm gonna try it again today. See if it comes out better. This is garbage, by the way. <laughs>